Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Jenny. Today I'm making a brush holder that looks like Appa. If you don't know who Appa is, I'd highly recommend watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Appa is the main character's pet, best friend, spirit guide, and his ride. He's a flying bison that looks like a cross between a buffalo and a manatee, but is fluffy, giant, has six legs, and can fly. I watched Avatar as a child. It would come on TV after school or during summer break. Uh, and now as an adult, I've rewatched it and I still love it. The stories, the characters, and the art are just amazing. I highly recommend it if you've never watched it before um, or rewatching it. I just think that it's really good in my honest opinion. So I decided to do Appa as my little helper when I'm painting and stuff. Um, so creating him into a little sculpture was kind of tricky. Uh, I wasn't too sure what I was doing, but I tried my best to make him look cute. So on to what I'm actually doing. I made his body flat on the bottom so I would so when I place my paint brushes on him, he's not wobbling around. I rolled out a thick snake of clay and cut the ends on a slant so attaching his legs would be easier. Once he's all blended out, I used a pasta roller to get this slim piece of clay and I used the jagged edges for his fur texture around his legs and head. Yeah. 
I blended all the edges so it would be smooth. I was thinking of adding more te fur texture around the whole body but decided against it so the painting process would be easier. I blended two small balls on his face for his cheeks or jowls or whatever they're called. Uh, and then I added his nose in between them. Once blended, I use my ball tool to make to add his nostrils. I made his horns by rolling some clay between my two fingers but only putting some pressure on the ends and then cutting it in half at an angle so they'd be easier to blend. Yeah. 
The last step of the sculpting is his ears and all I used were two small circles and bl blended them on under his horns. Once complete, it's ready to bake in the oven according to the polymer clay packaging instructions. I, I put all of my clay projects inside of this small tin so they bake evenly. Once baked, it's time for painting. For his base coat, I painted him a beige. After two coats of beige, I painted his brown arrow design all the way down his back. I also painted his ears the same brown as the arrow. I painted his feet a dark brown along with his nose. For his cheeks, I actually messed up and painted them the brown instead of gray. So in the next clip, you'll see I changed it off camera.
For his eye area, I painted it a lighter version of the dark brown so you could see the difference between the two. I painted his horns the same gray as his cheeks. Around Appa's eyes, he has some white patches, so I painted those on, and to make him look like he's sleeping, I used a .005 black micro pen to draw on small slits. As a last minute decision, I painted an oval on his belly. It's the same dark brown as his feet, but in the show you can see he has this on his belly. I originally wasn't going to include it since you wouldn't see it as much, but I thought it would look cute. Once painting was done, I added a protective coat and he was ready to go. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you did, please let me know by liking, commenting, and sharing it with others. If you'd like to be up to date on whenever I post a new video, make sure to subscribe. You can also find me on other socials for more art and stuff. They're all linked in the description box below. Thanks and have a good one.